Hey guys and welcome back to them. I'm showing you an OBS update for the best recording settings. So I'll also show you some changes that they've made since the last update and also how to set up OBS itself to get the best settings that are adapted to your PC. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So anyway, let's jump right in. I'm actually going to start here. I'm going to do right click and you can auto scene. That's just in case you don't know how to do that. You can name it whatever you want. But what I mainly want to show here is if you right click here and you actually auto source. Now I'm going to do a game capture. Just name it whatever you want. Click OK. And here as you can see, they actually added capture audio. It's still in beta and this is actually for window capture and game capture. So it does actually allow you to capture the audio at the same time with in this case for example the gameplay. So it's in beta but as I said you can test it out if you want and if you actually want to record a game just do capture specific window and then select if a game is running. Now for me there's no game running but if you wanted to record a game you would actually have to have the game open and actually kick it right here and then click OK. It's actually one change I already wanted to mention quickly and also in terms of audio if you go for example here to desktop audio I click on the three dots right here and I go to advanced audio properties. As you can see I have two right here my desktop audio so everything that's like music window sounds that's my desktop audio and also my mic of course obviously is the one i'm recording it right now it's in blue yeti as you can see i put this one on track one and this one on track two i will show that in a minute how you actually can do that but basically there was also a problem where the audio track one was being desynced with other tracks so the other ones that would be right here no matter how many you have now this is said to be fixed as well so in case you're having that issue that the actually the audio was synced with other tracks even though you didn't want that it should be fixed by now so now i'm actually going to go into the actual settings here so I'm just going to click here. Now here's the general tab, nothing really special. Those are actually preferences, so the language, the theme. You can make sure that it always updates automatically to the latest update, very important. And for the rest, there's nothing special here. So then I'm going to go to the output here because I'm going to do for recording. So I'm going to recording tab. Make sure also that the output mode is on advanced. I do advise you that because you have more options. Type here standard. Now your recording path is where your videos will go. So that's a preference really. I have my own folder here, which basically have to browse and select in which folder you want to save your videos. And they'll go automatically to that folder once they're done. Now recording format, you can do MP4, but if you do it in standard MP4, if you actually record a program and for example your computer shuts down or anything happens really, or it's just corrupted, it wouldn't actually be able to get restored, you would just lose the whole video. So that's why I advise you to use MKV, and then I'll show you later how to actually automatically remix that to MP4. But now actually also part of those changes, I can't show you right now because I'm recording, but you can go to the drop down, and basically you now have the option to select FMP4 or F. MOV. So those are fragmented MP4 and fragmented MOV, meaning you can now select the fragmented MP4, which will periodically complete the file. So basically breaks down the video into smaller segments, so you wouldn't lose your file entirely. So that's a nice option here. That's a nice alternative if you actually don't want to do the MKV to MP4, even though it's a very simple process. You can also choose now to actually do the fragmented or the F MP4, for example. So once again, then you have to go down and click on here, do the drop down and actually select it. But as I said, in the case you just want to go for MKV to MP4, I will show you on later on how to actually automatically do that to mp4 if you're done because mkv actually doesn't lose it if for example now my computer would have crashed my mkv file would actually be saved to the point where i was recording that's very nice why i do to mkv and then to mp4 the video encoder now i have a graphics card nvidia so i will automatically go for my graphics card you should too no matter which one you have if but if you don't have really a good graphics card or none at all you can actually go for the x264 you'll see it same in the drop down you'll see it as well it's the x 264. You probably do have to put down the settings a bit because it can actually provoke an encoding overload. It might have a risk of that. So do make sure that if you select X264 that you actually check out the ratings right here you probably want to set this to cbr in that case and put it like around put it like around 3000 then you have to put the cbr to around i would say 3000 to 10,000, maybe over you have to see that for yourself really that is something that depends on your pc but if you have a graphics card as i said just go for it and select yours obviously audio encoder you just keep that on this one right here audio tracks as i said earlier i have two desktop audio and my microphone this you can leave as and then this select this one i personally use because my pc can handle it cqp so this actually is going to go between like 15 and uh, 22 23 you have to check that out for yourself as well if you're going to go for cqp what's the best basically what was the lower better quality but it also take more space so once again this is also something you should check out for yourself now in the case of the preset i would definitely advise you to go for the slowest because as you can see it's the best quality high quality here for tuning and then this you can also just leave the same as is right here now i'm actually going to go to into this audio tab here now i did it for all of the tracks but i as i said i only have the first two ones so track one and two but make sure you put them on 320 that's pretty important actually going over here to the actual audio tab 
Make sure here up here the sample rate is on 48 kilohertz, channels always on stereo and then here the desktop audio is going to be a speaker so in my case I just put the headphones in my PC I just to hear my sound and for the microphone select your microphone or select any software that makes your microphone better like for example a voice meter you would have to select voice meter here but since I just use the, the integrated OBS voice filters now I don't actually need to do that I'll show you in a bit what I'm talking about but basically just select your microphone right here and then here same there's nothing really to note of importance now I'm actually going to go to the video tab here now my screen is 1920 by 1080 so it's a 24 inch screen aspect ratio of 16 and 9 do make sure that you adapt this to your screen so if you have a 4k screen you want to go over of course and just make sure that it actually fits to screen at the end so basically selecting the resolution of your screen 60 fps i really advise you and even if your pc is a bit slower you could run it at 30 fps but i definitely always advise you to go for 60 fps even if you have more of a low-end pc now hotkeys here is just if, if you want to for example click here and then use a button to actually start recording stop streaming pause the recording for instantly is using a button but it's a preference of course accessibility is also a preference and then we go to advanced process priority now if obs is having trouble actually prioritizing your recordings no matter if you're doing a gameplay or a window capture make sure that you put this at least on above normal or high so that's OBS has more of a priority. If you actually notice that OBS is having a hard time to doing recordings, you can actually also consider this to set the priority. Uh, renderer always advise you to use Direct 3 D11. Also NV12 here, set this on 7.9. You can do it on limited or full, that depends. You have to alternate between the two. There's a chance that full is going to be a bit more darker in colors. So do watch out for the two and actually look what is going to be the best for you. Now here, very important what I was talking about earlier. If the recording is actually done, so as you can see, I was so as you saw earlier, I did it in MKV. But if that recording is done, so if I do stop recording, it will actually automatically remux to MP4. So basically, it automatically make a new file in the format of an MP4. So then by the end, I actually have two files. I have the MKV file and the MP4 file. Now, of course, if you want, because it can take a lot of space if you do it every time, you can delete the MKV files because the MP4 file has been saved anyway when you're done recording. So do always wait a little while. You will see a little bar. It's be charging to like 100 it's gonna go pretty quickly and then you'll see that it's actually remixing to mp4 just let obs do that and then your mp4 file will be ready to go as i said that's just a question of being safe because MKV doesn't lose anything if you actually have a crash or as I said anything happens to your file while recording. MKV will save that. So that's very nice. And in case you want to use MP4. Because MP4 does remain the most read video format. So I can understand that if you actually want to have MP4 as a file by the end. That you can go for this option basically. On every tab hit apply and OK. Now then we're actually pretty much already done. Here as you can see is my microphone as I said earlier. If you go to these three dots here and I select on filters. You can actually see here the filters that I have on here. Um, they basically are in a certain order. I actually have a video on my channel that shows you how to actually do that. Basically a tutorial on how to make your voice sound better. In OBS itself as you can see those are filters that are within OBS. So do make sure to check out that video. Because that will actually show you how to make any microphone sound better in OBS. Which can be very useful. But in any case guys. But anyways guys there's a fast tutorial here on the new OBS 30.1. Dot two update hope it helped if you have any questions leave them down below please leave a like would be really nice subscribe would also be really nice and i'll see you guys in my next video bye